Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've got a good stretch coming up. It's going to get pretty hot and humid, though, over the next couple of days, just in time for RAGBRAI, wouldn't you guess it? So notice that we are completely dry around the state, have a couple of showers, try to work into northwest Iowa, but they died off, and I think we'll be dry for the rest of the night. Just a couple of clouds drifting over the state from those showers that died off a little bit earlier. Speaking of RAGBRAI, let's check out that forecast. Day one starts tomorrow. There'll be some early risers, 67 degrees for the 6 a.m. number. I think we'll be dry. The wind will pick up through the morning hours by lunch. Time. It'll be out of the south, 10 to 20 miles per hour, 82 degrees, the noon temperature in Rock Valley if you're getting a late start. And by the time people start rolling into Okaboji, about 82 for the noon temperature. High temperature should be into the mid 80s. Again, I think heat index values because the humidity is going to be up. That's going to be near 90, so it's going to start to go up over the next couple of days. It's not going to be nearly as dry and as comfortable as what we had last week, but uh, either way, this is going to be some good pool weather here for the next couple of days. We're at 81 right now at the airport. Dew points back into the low 60s. South-southwest winds, they're at 13 miles per hour. I think most of tonight, though, they should die off to under 10 miles per hour. That probably starts by about sunset. Notice upper 70s to the north, upper uh, 70s down to the south. We're actually one of the only spots in central Iowa still holding on to the 80s. But look at the wider perspective. Here's that warm air moving in. Off to the west, they're well into the 80s for most of Nebraska's, uh, most of South Dakota, most of Kansas as well, looking at those warmer uh, temperatures. So that's where the heat and humidity is coming from. We have a boundary off to the north. That's a warm front. That's helping to kind of pull all that warm and hot air in. The humidity will be increasing as well. We're going to keep it dry, though. It looks like uh, we'll have a, a good chance of rain coming in by Tuesday. But up until then, really not much sign of shower and thunderstorm activity. Low temperatures tonight back into the mid-60s. Just a few clouds out there. Very mild tonight. The wind should be under 10 miles per hour. Low temperatures outside of Des Moines, generally lower to mid-60s. Tomorrow's high, 87 degrees. It'll feel more like low 90s once you factor in that humidity. And again, by lunchtime and into the afternoon, that wind picks up out of the south. 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll call it a breezy one. Uh, outside of Des Moines, generally mid 80s for highs tomorrow. Here come the 90s for Monday into Tuesday. Again, not just hot, but humid as well. I think it'll feel like about 100 for Monday and Tuesday afternoon, so it starts to get a little dangerous for anybody working outside. Good chance for some storms on Tuesday. We'll get a break from that. Look at the temperatures by the middle and end of the week. We're back into the lower to mid 80s for highs. It looks like could see some showers and storms Friday, and then we'll keep those mid 80s through the weekend.